Greetings everyone, hey how you doing? It's Matt Sella. Today I'm doing a somewhat spoiler review for the latest episode of DuckTales, well one of, Season 2, Episode 9, simply known as The Outlaw Scrooge McDuck. Doing a little bit of a catch up on some new DuckTales episodes that I've missed. They're doing week releases instead of a Saturday weekly release. And so you're going to get a little bit of a marathon of my thoughts on these new episodes. If you have not seen this episode and do not want to be spoiled, I would recommend you save this video for later, come back after you've watched the episode to hear my thoughts. Otherwise, if you don't mind spoilers, you have been warned. So the general summary of this episode is, after Louie gives up on a business venture due to a little obstacle, Scrooge decides to tell him a little story back when he was a prospector in the Old West as a way to kind of help Louie get inspired. While in the town of Gumption, he runs into his old fling, Goldie, as a race to find that gold. However, their claim was taken by a John D. Rockaduck, who bought the town to con it. Ooh, a sly, scummy dude. And so now, Scrooge, Goldie, as well as the time travel gyro, yeah, there's time travel in this, team up to try to take back the gold and save the town, sort of, or whatever. And that is the basic summary of the episode. So what did I think of it? Well, I do enjoy a good Western-themed entertainment every now and then, and this one was pretty fun. I thought it was a really cool little episode about the gold rush, old Scrooge McDuck trying to get his hands on some gold and treasure. It's that good classic kind of adventure kind of episode. It didn't really super stand out for me personally, but I thought it was a lot of fun. And it was kind of funny at first. I thought it was random that Gyro appeared out of nowhere in this story. But very clearly he time traveled back there. So I thought that was a funny little touch. And at first when the sheriff showed up, I just thought he was just a random sheriff. Turns out he's supposed to be an ambiguous sort of connection to another certain character in the present timeline. And I thought that was really cute how they did that. And I also love the fact that this episode is being told in the perspective of Scrooge to Louie telling the story. And they integrate some of the narrative problems or continuity logic you would get from these kind of entertaining memory stories of like, well, how would you possibly know that? That's not in your perspective. Or you weren't there. And I just thought it was a really cute way of handling it. Animation was pretty solid, I would say. Art direction, consistent. As always, it's kind of hard for me to say on like what detail really stood out for me or not. I did like the fact that we kind of had a henchman villain who looked like a mix between a couple minions from uh, those James Bond films like Odd Job and the guy with the teeth. And it had a bit of that steampunk vibe to it, especially when Gyro was getting involved. All in all, I mean, it's really hard for me to say any negatives that I could think of. I really don't have any except maybe... It was cut paste together very quickly to kind of tell a, an act one, act two, act three story. It's like, it's one of those storylines that I've seen movies about crammed into a bite-sized TV episode. But again, that's not really a nitpick or a negative. It's just one of those formulas you recognize. So that's really all I can say on that regard. Animation, all that, I guess this kind of gives origin to why Scrooge looks so good in that top hat and blazer. So just a lot of cute nods in this, I would say. I really enjoyed it. Not my favorite so far, but it's a really good episode. A lot of fun. And possibly it does have some tie in to like what could come next for the actual Scrooge McDuck storyline. Because it kind of ends it in a way where it's like, huh, it could be nothing. I'll be honest about that. Overall, good episode. But there's a lot more to come. So keep your eye out for other reviews just like this one. And if you want to hear other reviews, such as movies, I got my main show podcast, things like that. Consider subscribing, like this video if you did enjoy it, and in the comment section below, let me know what were some of your favorite parts of this episode that you've seen, or if you haven't seen the episode, what might intrigue you to watch it, or if you did see it and you didn't like it, uh, let me know what didn't work for you. And as always, consider going to my Patreon to support me, I would really appreciate it. Go to patreon.com forward slash Matt Sella, consider donating as little as a dollar a month, it'll help me keep creating content just for you guys, whether it's podcast, animation, art, comics, whatever, go there, follow me, see what I'm creating just for you. Not much more to say here except thank you all for tuning in. Oh.